All right, so is AI bluffing Plan B seekers? Is it bluffing the experts? A lot of content creators and YouTubers and marketers, when they create these blogs, they don't use brains, they use the new tool AI, but is it pre-programmed, pre-fed by the matrix? Is that what they want you to learn? Is that what they want to spit to you? We're going to find out. Now, I had a poll on my channel and interestingly, around 150 participants. It's a very popular question and the question often comes up on the calls and also is requested through the forum. And the question is about Eastern Europe. What is the best residency? What is the best place to move right now in 2023 and beyond in Eastern Europe? And I had an interesting opportunity here. I wanted to test what AI comes up with and not one AI tool, right? I did an average, I ran this query, the exact query, and this was posted under the advanced polls and chats by David Russo. Now, if you aren't a member of the advanced polls and chats, that's an opportunity for you to raise important questions. Let's say you have an important poll and you want to get the community's feedback, your question can be pulled up depending upon the popularity, the relevance, etc. This also comes up a lot on my consultation calls. A lot of clients are like, hey, you know, I don't want to do the Latin America. I get it. It's a good passport. I have a good passport, all right? Now, I don't want to live in the West. I'm not interested in Latin America or the whole Spanish thing. I'm interested specifically in Europe and Eastern Europe is the place where I want to go. So what is the best option? Now, there are three things over here that I wanted to pull up, right? What does the whole averaged AI say? Different tools like Bard, like... Um, your chat GPT and there's several other AI tools that I tested this query on so it gave me the same answer pretty much the same options so that's one input that went into it second was others where I really wanted to see and, I, and the reason why I did the whole AI thing is because I wanted to know from the community do they also feel uh, connected with some of those options or not is there at least a few options that they agree upon or is there completely something new that's going to come up? And interestingly, there was something very new and fresh that came out of the community. And then there's also my own opinion, which I feel uh, when I look at these two sites, right? So there's, there's that third component to it. Now let's look at the poll. And in the poll, the options, the three options were Estonia, right? Poland and Czech Republic. Now these three options, because this was what was given by the AI as the top destinations for expats, right? Interestingly, these are all uh, part of the EU. There was not a single country that the AI picked up, which was not a part of the EU. So is this the way, is it programmed, right? That's the big question. Is this programmed to only give you EU countries? And the reason why I feel I'm saying that is because I try to look for alternatives, right? You can ask, the AI software, hey, give me an alternative. It gives you more options. And when I did that, it kept spitting EU countries one after the other. And that is particularly very interesting. And then the fourth option was obviously other, where I wanted to hear people's opinions. And I'm going to read some of the comments, which are very interesting, right, uh, in this. Um, I'm going to read our advanced members' opinions first. So Cryptonerd here says um, Poland, right? He likes Poland because he has experience from that country, has lived there, so he's giving some ground level reality. And he summarizes as extremely safe, low cost of living compared to other countries, uh, ease, easier business permit, English speaking youth. The detailed answer is discussed in the advanced polls if someone is interested. So he does have a lot more information that he shares as part of the advanced polls and chats. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description. Uh, you can join and read not only his, but other advanced members' opinions on this topic and other topics, right? Also, there's a latest update from Serbia. There's some new resources that have been launched by the government. I have a full brief on what they are, etc. You can find that uh, under the advanced uh, members area. All right, now uh, S. Franz here says uh, Serbia, he feels it's Serbia. And Serbia was, by the way, the number one choice amongst the rest of everyone who commented as uh, under the others uh, category. And um, Serbia, because one of the fastest growing passports for almost a decade now, highly technically skilled workforce. It's a two by four by one since you can also live in Montenegro. You have EU access, but not yet a EU member, which is a good thing for in for some people, right? They don't want the hassle of the EU and the whole tax net and stuff like that. So it's not an EU member. Has access to China, 
um, Russia, Japan, most of South America and the Caribbean, additional access to Southeast Asia with many e-visas, also scores high on quality of life, low cost of living and business opportunity. Yes, absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more with his feedback. Uh, someone says Serbia, any day, up and coming country with a lot of young and attractive people, low cost residency options. Why is Serbia not an option? I don't like the other ones as there's no good residency option for citizenship. Now that again makes Serbia a clear winner here. It's not about bias that, you know, it's about the fact that you want a citizenship. I got a lot of, I get a lot of clients and they are like, hey, I want to spend time in the EU. I don't care in, in, in Europe, in Eastern Europe, and I don't care about a passport. But I, I, I personally feel you should think about a passport, right? Yes, you don't care about it, but you're investing your time and you're setting up your life. What if you fall in love with that country and you want to be settled for the rest of your life. You want the maximum protection in that country under certain circumstances. Some people would not want that, but most people would want that ultimate benefit, which is the citizenship. Serbia gives you all. It gives you that ultimate citizenship uh, in the end. Is the latest breaking from Serbia, the next day citizenship rule. If you've missed that coverage, definitely go and take a look at that. I'm also tracking the one year rule in Serbia. And again, more information on that is posted to the advanced polls and chats. Uh, here's another user which says Serbia, someone says Georgia, someone says Texas. Texas is interesting, but you can have a run in with Uncle Sam. So a lot of people are not okay with that, although it's, there's nothing wrong with Texas. So that was pretty interesting. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is AI somehow influenced by the matrix? Is it fed certain kind of information? Is it true? Because uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because when I look at the options, right, Estonia, that's not a popular one, clearly. So why is, on what basis is AI saying it's a popular option? And when I queried the thing, it was specifically asking for the popular choices in terms of those three categories, which were part of the query. So yes, it was queried correctly to get the right answers, but I feel these answers don't make sense because not really many people voted for them. Estonia and uh, Czech Republic is, aren't popular choices. Poland, yes, I see one issue with Poland. A lot of immigrants have flooded to Poland. A lot of people don't appreciate that. Yes, Poland was great before. I personally feel that more crowded, more asylees pouring in may not be the best solution for a lot of expats. As expats, we want access to a market which is less crowded. Uh, you want the certain type of people. Yes, you want the you want the you know the people from that country. You want the wealthy people, but do you also want to deal with a lot of immigrants? A lot of people move out of the U.S. and Canada for those reasons, and it's your personal wish, right? There's nothing right or wrong about it. Each one thinks differently. Each one has their right of thinking, whichever way they want to think. So this was interesting. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. What you feel uh, about the whole AI situation? Is it functioning right? Is it giving the right options? And also, if you haven't participated in that poll, let me know in the comments, which is the best Eastern European choice according to you. Importantly, just don't give the name of the country. Tell us why. Tell us why you feel that that is the best choice and why one should go there. That helps people. People read comments more and more these days to get others opinions and our platform is one of the best i feel where we have a beautiful community of people subscriber base and users who are contributing wealth of information this information stays this sticks and this keeps helping other people who are reading all of this all right i hope you like this video give me a thumbs up if you did make sure you're subscribed to the channel and catch you in the next one